Hi YouTubers, this is Kathy Stevenson here and I'm um, making this video because um, I saw a video from uh, Teresa and Lee did over at Stringfield Ridge Farms and I just wanted to make some comments to the to the um, video they did I found my people I want to say that um, through life people um, dream of dream of things that they want to do and so on and so forth and um, it's really neat when it actually comes true uh, for years I have dreamed about living on a farm and um, at one time David and I actually had bought uh, some uh, 10 acres in Live Oak and we were living on that trying to make that our homestead and um, unfortunately um, my father-in-law was very ill with cancer and we decided that we were going to come home because we felt like our grandchildren needed to be closer to their grandfather who who had cancer so it's always been a, dry, a dream that we homestead and um, oh I believe it was in 2016 I was working great all the time I gardened a little bit I did a little bit of flower planting and I planted trees for many years through you know on my property and um, I was into rare fruit and stuff like that and um, I got pneumonia and um, when I got pneumonia I got so sick that um, I actually had a heart attack and then um, recovering from that um, I found out I had cancer so I did a lot of uh, a lot of time in the bed <laughs> where I couldn't get out of the bed I, except for to go to the bathroom and um, I couldn't cook for myself I couldn't do anything um, and my family kicked in and helped and did a lot of stuff for me that I needed to be done but I found a, a, an escape a dream that I could follow youtubers on YouTube and see the dreams that I had had all my life of wanting a farm um, and watching them when I couldn't get out of bed actually gave me a little bit of extra um, energy and a little bit of extra push <clears throat> to get up and do the things that I wanted to do with my with my yard because um, my dream was to have a big huge farm well um, I, I'm, I also believe that in your dreams God can put you in a certain place until he's ready for that dream to become true. I may never have a big farm, but I will in heaven one day. Right now on earth, while I'm here, I'm doing what I can in my little suburban backyard, front yard, side yard, whatever. I'm doing everything I can to be more self-sustainable. And I've learned these things through my YouTube friends and become really super good friends with a lot of people on YouTube. I've been to um, Deep South gatherings twice and been to the HOA once. Um, but during the time that I was in the bed, um, there was channels that I watched that really kind of stuck with me. And um, some of them were Starry Hilder uh, Dan and, and uh, Danny and Wanda with Deep South Homestead, uh, Doug and Stacy with um, um, their channel, and Justin Rhodes. And Justin Rhodes was visiting the whole U.S. and part of the time that I was watching the channels, and also uh, um, Danny and Wanda had gone to a Appalachian um, Homestead Conference and and um, 
<laughs> and I decided I was going to meet these people when I saw that Danny and Wanda had their first gathering I wasn't I was too sick to go then and I was too sick to go to the homestead conference um, the the one at Appalachian conference I was just too sick then still to go anywhere so um, when Danny and Wanda had their second one I told David I said I just need to I just need to go and meet these people I want to learn more about homesteading and how this community works and stuff and I found that I just fell for the people that are in the community I met people um, in person not just you know Danny and Wanda and two family and stuff that I met online and and watched them but I got to meet Brenda Duncan at um, Duncan 1900 her and Paul I can't remember if I met Paul the first time or not um, but I've met in person um, uh, let's see here I met Teresa Lee I don't remember Lee being there the first time I'm not he may have been there but I didn't actually get to conversate with him and um, at Stingfield Ridge Farm but I met Teresa and uh, became fast friends um, I even met people there I met a friend of Danny and Wanda's um, and I don't know I don't want to say their names because I don't know if they would appreciate that or not but I, I did meet a family there and then we become David and I become friends with and have been uh, visited with them when they came down here to Florida and um, uh, so let's see oh I that first time too I met um, Angie's Pantry and 70 Farms now Sherry at 70 Farms is so cool so cool um, I met Danny's uh, daughter uh, Jennifer and uh, Jenna Nuthouse and I mean I've just met so many people that I see on YouTube through Deep South's gatherings and then I met more people at the HOA mom shook the table when she put up her drink but that's okay um, let's see where was I at um, when I went to the HOA I got a chance to meet some people that I had been talking to uh, through YouTube too I got to meet Rose from Wholesome Roots I didn't get to meet Ryan because he didn't come last year um, he had to stay home and take care of the farm hopefully this year he'll be coming and I'll get to meet him too and then I met Jess and Maya and I met Justin and Rebecca Rhodes. I'm sorry, uh, Jess and Meyer are Roots and Refuge. refuge. And um, uh, Justin Rebecca is Justin Rhodes' channel. And um, let's see. Um, I just met so many people, so many wonderful people. I met Big Bear Homestead, Jason and Robin. And I met uh, Kathleen from Mama Grows. And um, um, I met Country Girl. I believe that's the first time I met Country Girl at uh, the HOA. And then I met... Uh, um, Let's see who at the the um, what is it called at the Deep South gathering. I met the Broussards and uh, um, oh, I can't 
can't, I can't think. I see so many people's face in my head and then it doesn't come out. <laughs> but anyways, I met a ton of people and everyone that I've met is super, super, super cool. Um, David and I go on these things together and um, by the way, David has his own channel too. Um, David's Mule Train Homestead is his channel. And you can go over and visit him too. He is, um, he's my ex-husband and um, we do a lot of things together. I wouldn't be able to do this YouTube thing without him. He helps me with a lot of my projects. He's a super guy and... Um, um, I'm very, very thankful to have him and have him help me with everything that I need done. Um, because I wouldn't be able to travel like I do, um, without him. I'm going to try, I don't think he's going to be able to go with me up to, um, the picnic, um, in Kentucky. I think I'm going to go with my sister and take her up there. Um, I don't know how long it'll take us to get there, but um, we're going to go up and and, uh, and go to the picnic in Kentucky that uh, Teresa and Lee and some other people are getting together. So, I just want to say that, you know, people, I've always been able to... Uh, share plants and stuff like that with neighbors or friends or stuff like that but i really feel a connection with the people that are homesteading i feel like they understand what i'm going through if i say i lose a chicken or if i if i have trouble with my when i lost my bunnies i felt like compassion and understanding that those things happen on a homestead. Um, I don't. I don't always get that same kind of thing with other people um, that I'm friends or family with. They don't quite understand why I do what I do, but I don't care. I. Um, I really, really, strongly got into homesteading because of the the. Um, the heart attack and the cancer. I want to eat better and raise my own food and I don't want a bunch of chemicals in my food anymore. So, and and you guys are like-minded. You think the same way, most of you. Um, I just want to eat as good as I can. Um, so, I just wanted to put this little video out there and thank all you people that I have grown to know and love and I hope to God I haven't forgotten anybody's name um oh I think I did forget somebody's name Trisha at uh Willow Creek Homestead I met her too at the HOA and uh I don't know if I said 70 farm I think I did but Angie Prantry, oh my goodness, she's a Tupperware lady. You should see her. You should talk to her. Um, and, you know, I mean, like, it's it's so neat because if I, if I um, want to buy something or I need something, I know who to go through through YouTube. Like, for instance, Danny's daughter, Jennifer, she's, she... She's into real estate, and she also sells Pampered Chef, so I can buy stuff from there. I can buy Deuterra from um, from a whole bunch of people that are doing it. Uh, I met Amanda also um, at Deep South, and um, I met the Lori family. I could just go on and on. There's wonderful people that you meet in our community, and I hope that if you're new to YouTube, that you get connected with these people because you're really going to love it. I love it, and I, it's been meant a lot to me. 
thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.